Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can install a Windows app offline. Offline means like you do not install it from the Microsoft Store. You use a developer package and install it on your computer. So uh, because sometimes if you have the automatic update turned on on your Microsoft Store, so uh, if you go to the three dot, go to settings, if you have this turned on, then you may get a Windows app uh, pushed to your computer by the Microsoft Store. So, but if that broke something, you want to reverse it. There's no way to reverse to a previous version from the Microsoft Store itself. But uh, what you can do, so just in case it can uh, uh, break uh, your installed of uh, the version you installed offline later you have to turn off that automatic update setting and uh, so just uh, go to the settings turn this off then we're gonna install it offline to fix your uh, app broken issue because the app if the app broke something in your system then you want to uninstall it so right now I have the LS pay for LS Express version 1.2.6.0 installed so this is the Windows app. What I can do, if you go to your start menu and search LS Pay for LS Express, this app comes up. What you can do, you can just uninstall this. You make sure it's being uninstalled. So it said this app has been uninstalled. After you uninstall this app, if you search again, you will not see this app. So this is, you don't have those all those options. This cannot be launched anymore. So it's not there anymore. Okay, so what you can do next, so you have to get a package, the developer package, uh, from uh, who developed this app. Maybe you can send an email, support email to uh, that company and ask them to provide you a package for you to uh, be able to install it locally, offline from your machine, not online from the Microsoft Store. So I have this package provided by the app developer. And this version, it's a previous version just before that 1.2. 6.0 so this version is uh, one version before is 1.2.5 so I got a zip package and I uh, extract it so these are the uh, these are the files under that package so you will get confused like uh, which one you can run to install the app so for that uh, if if it's a Windows app then only the APPX and the APPX bundle, those are the package you can install. So in my case, I have to use this APPX bundle. But if you click on APPX, then you could see, uh, you can, it also works. So both the APPX and the APPX bundle, you can use them and uh, to install the app. But if you, if you look at when I click on APPX, then it tells me this is an untrusted app. And uh, it gives me like uh, it's not the package is not signed with a trusted certificate. So first thing you have to install the certificate. But sometimes the developer may get, may provide you uh, uh, the installation this uh, appx file and appx bundle file with a uh, expired certificate. In that case, what can you do to install it? That's a problem. So you can go to the properties and the under the properties then you can go to the security. So in this case, because I, why I'm saying I'm not using the APPX, because under here, you do not see anything for that uh, digital send certificate you can install. So I have to use this APPX bundle. So you, you can see it also tell you, uh, tells you it's untrusted app. Then you have to go to the property of this file. And now you see on the top, you have an additional tab which says a, a digital signatures, okay? So from this digital signatures, you have to highlight this, otherwise this details will not be uh, activated. You will see it's grayed out if you don't highlight this uh, name of signer. So if you go to this, uh, let's just, uh, if you add, uh, so because I already, let's do that again. So what I want to show you if it's like, uh, it looks like when you just go open the properties and on this page everything is grayed out there's not much there's nothing you can do but you have to make sure you have to highlight this then the details can be activated then you click on the details and under the details you will see the digital send certificate the digital signature this certificate details and uh, 
if you click on view certificate, you could see this certificate is only valid on the April the 2nd, but actually what day is today is April the 28th. It's already passed this date. The certificate has already expired. It's not valid anymore. So what you can do to install the certificate? In order to install the certificate, because right now if you click on this and click, click on like a lo local machine, click on next, and uh, then you can browse and choose the trusted root certificate authority and click on OK and click on next and click on finish. And uh, it says import successfully. Let's see if that works. If you click on this again, it still says untrusted app. The reason is because the certificate, certificate has already expired. So for you to be, uh, because the certificate is only valid on that April the 2nd, what you can do is like you have to, uh, you have to, you have to change your system date just to cheat the installation. You have to change it to before, to a date before April 2nd, okay? So in order to do that, you go to start menu, you go to date and time, and uh, in the date and time settings, then you have to modify this date and time. So right now, um, I have the set time automatically, which means it's using, my computer is using the time server to use the time from the time server. If I turn off this, then you could see set the date and time manually, this change has, this button has been activated. If it, I turn it on, this button is grayed out, right? So now, uh, if I don't want to sync with the time server, I want to change the time manually by myself, then I have to turn this off. Then I can click on change. Now I can change my date to the previous date. That's just uh, change it to April the 2nd, because that uh, certificate, you can change any day before April the 2nd, okay? So after I change to that date, then I go back, I have to go to do this again, go to the properties, digital, digital signatures, go to the details, then click on view certificate and install certificate. And select local machine, next, and make sure you install the certificate to the root, trusted root trusted root certificate authority for it to be trusted, otherwise it's still untrusted, okay? And after this, click on OK, confirm, and confirm, then you should be able to install it. You see, it says trusted app. It doesn't have untrusted app anymore. Then you just click on install, then you should be good. Then this package will be installed on your machine. Then bang, you can see, I have the version 1.2.5.0 now. So it is one version before the previous app downloaded from the Microsoft Store. That could f that fix my issue because that uh, newest release from the Microsoft Store broke, in, broke the integration between the Pay and the uh, Express um, Business Central SARS. Okay, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. So from this video, I hope you know how you can install the apps, the Windows apps offline. And uh, if next time uh, the app pushed by Microsoft from the Microsoft Store uh, broke something in your system, then you want to reverse it. Uh, you cannot reverse it from the Microsoft Store. You just uninstall it from the Microsoft Store and uh, install the package provided by the developer of that Windows app offline on your computer. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching this YouTube video. Hope to see you guys again next time.